Welcome out everyone, all of you great decoders around the world, wherever you may be. My name is Logan, Decode Your Reality, another decoding short. This one is to finish up the Architect of the Universe series. I hope you have watched part one through four. This one's going to be a miniature version of the other four. I'm going to rifle through these slides just to get this material out, folks, because I have so much. Let's jump into this. Let's get started. So I'm going to show you both. I'm going to show you the great architect and I'm going to show you the architect. I'm going to start with the architect of the universe. That's what this decode is. And you can clearly see at the top there, it's the number 90. And 90, we go and bridge it with alchemy and we get this amazing element called thorium. And thorium, of course, is tied to Thor. Asgard, Norse mythology, Jesus could be in there if you want to attach the word to Jesus. What's really interesting, however, is this gentleman right here who f discovered Thorium, Johns Jacob Bersilius, his name is the number 64, 64. We go right back to alchemy, and there's the GD element, the God element, Gadolinium, being on television, etc., etc. Some small subtleties, his name is total. 18 letters jesus is 18. there are a lot of references of jesus being the architect of the universe if you've seen the great show the good place you know it's archangel michael etc etc but it's all a big ponzi scheme in my opinion i'm going to show you how his father which would be uranus is really going to be the big takeaway here but thorium is the number 29 that's a mirror or a reflection of the number 92. i feel that uranus is the father of the christ and then if you say 9-0, it's going to give you 37, and it's going to go to I in the sky. And remember, the 37 is tied to rubidium. Rubidium is the uh, 37 is the 12 prime number, and Anu, which is the father of sky, is uranium. So it's just going to go back to uranium no matter which way you slice it, okay? But they're all playing a role out, all the planetary positions, the celestials, et cetera, et cetera. So now let's get into some masonry. Right. Uh oh, we're going to get into some masonry. So if you're someone who thinks that these people are out to get you, maybe need to find your truth somewhere else. And that's not a joke, folks. I'm being directly serious with you here. Uh, hopefully you've made it this far in this research, 400 plus videos showing you that there is value in these secret societies instead of deeming them evil all the time. But anyway, let's get into this. I've shown this plenty of times. Great architect of the universe, 105, the subtleties, 27 letters, the five words. Of course, these are all subtleties, but five playing into the pentagram. We're going to get into that. But here is the original numerology for Uranus. It starts with the letter O. Supposedly, Uranus is the seventh planet from the sun. There's the letter O right there. So it has a lot of merit with the, what we're being told and the story of exactly how all these planetary things line up, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to get into this uranium-238, the 92nd element as we move along. So let's talk about this 105 found from the great architect of the universe. We, I'm going to show you the connecting point of the 90 and the 105. It doesn't really matter where we go with that. But here is in the string of the golden ratio, the number 105, where it is located, occupying. And this is including the one point, by the way. This is occupying digits 1,505 through digit 1,507. And you can clearly see we just drop that zero and we go right back to the 64th element, the GD element being on, te you're on television. This is the, my opinion, whatever's observing us, it comes down here and it becomes an actor or actress anytime it wants. It uses us as instruments. We have limited free will. That's just my take, my truth, supporting it with 400 plus videos. And here it is, the one. 157. Remember, the Truman Show is 57, 157. It's a hierarchy of that. 64 possible codons in our DNA, 64 squares on a chessboard. There you go. So, you know, folks, I hope you've gotten past the point of what you think of that organization because there's value in all these secret societies, et cetera, et cetera. Setting so them always just pointing the finger and doing the blame game. So, let's get into this great architect of the universe, the 105, what it leads to in alchemy. It's going to be this element called dubnium which was discovered in russia the great country of russia so of course it's called dubna and this is the spelling of it in russian so i broke it down using russian trying to get to the original context of the numerology of the language and there it is 17 so bam just like that and this is just more referencing points of saying that the architect of the universe the great architect in the universe it comes down here and becomes a star anytime it wants 
You would, if you created this game, you'd come down and play it. Every single one of you would say, yes, I would. So we're going to further on this 17, and here we go. 17 in the string of the golden ratio is occupying digit 36 and 37. Remember, operating as an operating system is 36. I in the sky is 37. 36 and 37 is going to give you that 73. And just like that, you're on television. There it is. It just continues to go on and on. And so we know the 17 through the string of the golden ratio, which is part of the source code, is tied right into the number 73. And if you add up, you know, if you do, if you go even further and you add up the 73 and 17, you're going to get the number 90. And you're just going to go right back to the first slide, architect of the universe. That's why 90 going into the great architect of the universe doesn't matter. It's a big Ponzi scheme, folks. It owns it all. Whatever's running this reality. This is off of my very first architect of the universe. Thanks everybody for joining in and, and supporting this this video. This was a lot of truth bombs in here, I thought, but it's it was definitely a big fan favorite. A lot of people watch this one. And I showed that the six most important elements making up the biological molecules on Earth, carbon all the way through sulfur, when you add them up doing the alchemy, you get one zero five. How about that? There it is. So this is like, you know, this is science right here. And then if you do the, uh, if you just add up their um, protons, you get 53. And there's the one half of the I am that I am. These are, these are def definites in my book here. Okay, definites in, in my book. Looking at this reality from a very basic lens, not going out and go too deep here, but obviously these elements on the periodic table are so valuable. So let's expand upon this 105. When we say the 105, we get the number 58, just like the word puppet master. How big this has been, the five and the eight. And then we go to this element on the periodic table called cerium, comes from the, 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 uh, the Roman word Ceres, which is an asteroid. This is the goddess of agriculture, which means that this great architect of the universe creates the agriculture or created the agriculture, which it's going to be tied right to Earth. I'm going to show you that at the very end. <clears throat> so this is where we're going to get into the uranium and Uranus, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel like all the planets are like an anthropomorphic being and they really run this entire reality. You can get into the archons being tied to the seven planets, et cetera, et cetera. But it goes beyond that because you have Neptune, Pluto to add in there. And it's just, it's infinite, folks. But how about this 92 and this uranium, right? And Uranus, the U, U being the 21st letter tied to the world card. Well, if you bring in some trigonometry, as I am showed, how valuable the sine and cosine wave. Every number has a sine and cosine wave. Well, here's the number 92 sine and cosine wave, 77 and 62. And when you add them up, you get 139. And there's the connecting point. See how amazing this is? The, the, remember, this is the, ag, the goddess of agriculture, meaning the earth. Okay, meaning the earth. Separate from the universe, but the earth is a mini universe. But there you go. And we see that the 92 is... A very important number it's the eighth pentagonal number and that's what we're going to talk about the pentagonal number here it is and the pentagon makes up the pentagram five-sided and that makes up the universe see we, we're all co-creators of the universe being used of course but there is the five-sided pentagon or pentagram five five is your fingers five is your toes that's what this whole thing looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And there's that 33 tied to the universe right there. And then you just, we could even say the great architect of the pentagram because pentagram and universe are interchangeable. The 105. It's very, very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going. So then we have this element that we're going to add on and we're going to move into called palladium. Why palladium? Because it has an atomic mass of 105.903. This is going to be isotope 106. The two base pairs of our DNA, cytosine, guanine, those are 106, as I have shown over and over and over. Double helix is 46. I'm going to show you that. And it's tied to the great architect of the universe or pentagram. 
Okay, the 33 is big time tied to the Christ, of course, the, the <clears throat> crucifixion age, the vertebrae coming up and down your spine, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to move into the cards of illumination. A lot of you have been asking me to show more of the cards in the system. I got a, a, a mini course coming out on this as well to show you how to use this more and more. So if you're new to this, you may want to skip over this part or just try to absorb as much as you can. Those of you that are fans of these cards and you've been following this great research, it's very, very simple. Here is the numbered chart. I call it the bingo chart for the cards. Each, num each one of these spaces are numbered. Starting over here in the bottom right, finishing at the top left. 52nd position is the King of Spades, which is card number 52. So that's kind of a no brainer. But I decided to bring in Solar Spread 33 because we're talking about the universe. The great, see, it's the great architect of what the universe, starting with the letter U, as in Uranus. Okay, so we go to the Solar Spread number 33. And why I have this space highlighted which is the Ace of Diamonds because it's space number 46. And we know double helix, which is tied to our DNA. That's 46. We know 46 is tied to the great architect of the universe through that 105 atomic mass. And if we take the 46 of the space that the Ace of Diamonds is occupying, and it's card number 27, and we add them together, we get the number 73. And just like that, we go right back to you're on television. Where is that one at? There you go. Bam! You're on television, folks. There's so many ways to look at this. But if this is how, like, there's no way a man could ever code this. No way. Too many moving parts. You can become aware of it. We're becoming aware of it, et cetera, et cetera. Even the medicine cards, if you're a fan of the animal deck, the medicine cards, there it is. The great dragon got hurled down. What is the dragon representing? Light. We're playing out the light game. Your light slowed down into physical matter. Spirit into matter, 56. Lights, camera, action, 56. It's just easy when you have all the tools. Even the 33rd space. If you go look at it, look what card's sitting there. It's the seven of spades. You know what card number that is? 46 representing the double helix seven means the crown all the way down to the root the chakras okay these are just so simple to see here when we take a look and we really go as deep as we can and if you add up 33 and 46 you're going to get 79 and that's gold so many different ways to break this stuff down that's how amazing the card systems are so let's look again at uranus the number 92 and its protons and the sine and cosine wave. Now we're going to go to the single digits right after the decimal, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have a connecting point directly to Uranus because these are Uranus's two primary cards. Maybe this is one of your birth cards. And here's the boilerplate chart for the cards of illumination. Over here is your master ego card, your life. And then here's your handler card, your your spirit card. And you just look for wherever your card is located at on the life side. And then you just find it in the same position on the spirit side. And there, and see, this is Uranus and Uranus. It, all these run longitudinally and latitudinally. So this is the Uranus, Uranus space. <clears throat> they all have it. Neptune has a Neptune, Neptune space. Saturn has a Saturn, Saturn space. But this is Uranus, Uranus. So it's the King of Clubs, card 26, and the Two of Spades, card number 41. And there you go. And just like that, we get the 67, which is the sine and cosine wave of the number 92. That's how dialed in Uranium and Uranus is in this reality that we call life. And now you get into some mainstream and December 25th, and it's Santa Claus because the 67th element is called Holmium. I call it ho, ho, ho. It's the Santa Claus element. Holmium is the most magnetic element on the periodic table. Let me say that again. It is the most magnetic element on the periodic table. What, what, what do you think this would be? Magnetic, right? I'm going to get into the magnet here in a little bit to show you the, the correlation to that. And this is, and the whole story of Santa is it comes down the chimney because it's spirit coming down into earth under the veil of heaven and it moves into an avatar and that would be you and me. Now being a star in the movie, as I have showed already, great architect of the universe, architect of the universe, all the same thing. It's just a big Ponzi scheme. And there's the 67. These are kind of no-brainers, you know? These are really, really kind of no-brainers. <clears throat> Even when you say 6-7, it's a match to the 33, which is the universe. Pentagram, 33. 
33 vertebrae, the majority of you, 33 to go up the spinal cord. That's the tree of life, the spinal cord to the brain. It's Santa Claus coming down the colostrum. Big shout out to Santos Bonacci and his work talking about the brain and the colostrum and you come down the chimney. That's the spinal cord and you now are playing out an avatar. That's exactly what this means and you're magnetic. Okay, you're a magnet and you attract things by default through your cosmic code. When you bring the number 67 into the string of the golden ratio, it occupies two digits, including the 1.151, 152. You add that up, you're going to get 303. There's the 33. Just like if you take 92 and you add it to the 238, you're going to get 330. Okay, so the 33 is so relevant and it's correlated right to Uranus. The father of the Christ is Uranus. I can assure you that as I have shown in my crypto kingdoms, et cetera, et cetera. Check those out. But what about that 152? Well, we go into the string of the golden ratio. We go 152 digits in and we're going to add up and see what the total is. Look at the outcome of this, ladies and gentlemen. It's the damn keys to the universe. So what are the keys to the universe through the golden ratio? Santa Claus, Holmium. It's magnetism. That's what it is. That's what it's tying itself to. Magnetism. Jesus Christ is 36. That's the 369. The father of the Christ is Uranus. I can assure you that, ladies and gentlemen, which means heaven. It means sky. So going further with uranium here and the 92 protons it has, we're going to connect it to mathematics. 479 is the 92nd prime number. Remember, it's 479. 79 is gold. Four is the box that we live in. 479. Okay, 90 second prime number. When you add those up, as I often do, 571, you go right back to the mathematics and bam, there it is. It's the 105 and the great architect of the universe. And this 157 is really big because then we can do a permutation of it and you can see that the 64th element going all the way back to architect of the universe, my very first slide is going to be tied to gadolinium. Remember John's Berselius who discovered thorium. His name through numerology was 64. These are all just tie-ins, folks. Mankind's being used and you're on television. That's my final answer. You're on television and a lot of you are not stars because you're paying too much attention to the mainstream and you're blaming and doing all that stuff. I hope the majority of you here watching this are not doing that, but some of you are still doing that. Anyway, it's not my movie. I'm just an extra in your movie. Moving along here, this going back to my original architect of the university coded when I was using a lot of the 3.141 pi. There are two versions of pi. I found that out later on down the line. I'm going to show that in just a second. This is the 3.141. And of course, they're all going to be part of the source code no matter what. Well, what occupies digit 285 and 286 to add up the, to the 571? Digit 36. And what is 36? operating system. Jesus Christ is 36. So architect of the universe tied to thorium and Jesus Christ and the father of Jesus Christ being uranium. These are all no brainers, folks. They're all having a hand in it. It's a big anthropomorphic giant being, if you will. All, co uh, all co uh, coalescing together. This 571 is Remember, if you watch my uh, fool decoded. I showed how we'll get fooled again. Same bosses. The new boss is the same as the old boss. It was tied right to Pete Townsend who wrote the song, won't get fooled again by the who go check out my fool decoded. So here is the, uh, digits of the 3.144 found this obviously through a lot through, through Jane 108, his great work and his great research, him claiming that this is the actual real pie 3.144. Okay, there's, so there's two variations of it. Both of them are part of the source code, for sure. But, he, you know, this one is more dialed into the, the, the zero, the, the perfect circle. And where is the 571 located at? Well, it's occupying digit 34, 35, and 36. Going back up to here, 36 is going to be tied to the 571, which is going to be tied to the 105. The 571 through the string of the 3.144 is going to be tied to the operating system and we're going to get that 139 what's that 139 tied to well we're going to go right back to uranium and its sine and cosine waves 77 plus 62 139 you see how it's all beautiful folks trigonometry mathematics sacred geometry alchemy cards of illumination tarot numerology it's a pi phi it's all connected all of it it's just so beautiful. 
It's just really beautiful. So we're getting to the tail end of this decoding short here on the Great Architect or the Architecting Universe number five. And uh, uranium, let's get into uranium, break the numerology down. Notice it's a number 25. It's going to be tied to manganese. And that 54, they li check out my They Live Decoded. It was News Station 54 broadcasting a hypnotic trance to keep you under the spell and guise of buy, sell, obey, etc., etc. It's all there. 54 tied to Xenon and tied to Ensof and Kabbalah. It's all a big Ponzi scheme. And I'd come out with this on my my... I think my last decode called the zoo. It's only a five minute decode. Big shout out to the band Scorpions using their song called the zoo. This was one of the slides off of it. Clearly you can see the graveyard is tied to the black sun. I feel earth is the black sun. It doesn't give off any of its own light. It needs light to grow photosynthesis to, to create food. And, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, look at how crazy scripted our reality is making these connections. Manganese, here it is. 54.93 comes from the word magnet. Remember I told you we'd be talking about the magnet, right? I told you earlier we'd be talking about the magnetism, magnetic. <clears throat> we live in an electromagnetic universe. But here is the icon for manganese. And I had said this is spirits being, this is when you die, your soul gets lifted, it gets taken out. That's it. And your, your physical body is left down here for Prometheus, Hades, and the underworld to feed the earth. That's this exact, and, and ladies and gentlemen, the uranium, look at how much uranium is in the Earth's crust. I mean, it's, it, there's a ton of it. Of course, they, you know, they use the 235 for nuclear reactors, et cetera, et cetera, but uranium's not dangerous in, a, in rock form, but it's a lot of it is in Earth, but when it's transferred, and, and I'm not going to get into the nuclear stuff, but you can clearly see that it's in Earth. So you have a tie-in from uranium, which is sky, and Gaia. And if you study Greek mythology, it was Gaia and Uranus that created the other celestials. That's exactly how the story goes, mythology, but I think there's more uh, truth than, than myth in there. But this is all tied to Earth, Gaia being tied to uranium. And this is all Greek mythology right here. And, you know, look at, the, look at the shape of this, folks. It's a damn upside down U right there. These are definites in my book. Okay. Mankind's being used. You're being used for your life and you go back to the ground and your spirit gets lifted and the game starts over again for you. I don't know how that works, but that's just what it looks like here. So when you take 92 uranium, obviously it's tied to the 25 and you add them up, you get 117. And that's very interesting because when you do the alchemology of Uranus, alchemology being a blend of numerology and alchemy, we get the outcome of the numerology, we combine it into alchemy. Shown this so many times. Here is the alchemology of Uranus, the English spelling of it. And look at what we get for an outcome, 46.71. Remember what 46 is? Tied to our double helix. When you add them up, when you add up 46 and 71, you get 117. Bam, there it is. So think about what I'm showing you here. You take the protons of 92, and then you take the outcome of the uh, uranium and its numerology, and you add it up, you get 117. Then when you do the alchemology of Uranus, you get the 117, and it's a match. This is a big deal here, obviously. And the 117 is tied to the sun, for sure. There, It's all in bed together. It's a big Ponzi scheme here. So we get this 46 for the outcome of the alchemology of Uranus, and it's tied to palladium. 46 is tied to our double helix. When you do the numerology of these five elements, or six, I mean, six elements, carbon through lithium, you get 143. That's a permutation of pi, first and foremost. And then when you bring it, the 46 into the string of the golden ratio, it occupies digits 71 and 72. What is 71 and 72 equal? 143. And there's the 71 right there, tied right to the 46 in the string of the golden ratio. How about that? The, folks, this is so dialed in. This is the source code. This is what runs our reality. It's like the storyboard behind everything that we're living out. This is so dialed in. Our double helix and of course, Lucifer, Lutetium is 71. Of course, it's tied to Prometheus, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> and it's tied to this great architect of the universe. There's that 105. 
So you can see how it's just so beautifully written, this whole reality that we have. So to finish this decode up, I wanted to bring in the discovery of Uranus. And it was discovered by William Herschel. Notice that his first name is the W, William, and the last name is Herschel, W-H. And that's 238, which just coincidentally matches the atomic mass of uranium. Coincidence? Did, was this guy ever, was he real? Why would they, why would this be done to dupe anybody or to pull the woolly over your eyes? Are you real? Go decode yourself and you'll see a script that's playing out and has been playing out since you were born, since day one. But anyway, let's look at the astrology. Those of you that are fans of astrology. So just to recap the numerology, Uranus 23, Mercury 23. I'm going to show why I'm showing that. And then Mrigrashira, however I however you pronounce some of these damn nash nashakras, um, is, the, uh, is the place where Uranus was in the discovery. I didn't have the exact time, so the house may not be exactly spot on, but I have the date right because it was 13 March. 1781. So here's Uranus right here in the fifth nashatra. Here it is. And it matches the numerology of Uranus itself. And then it's in the sign of Gemini. Gemini's ruler is Mercury. That's why I have the numerology of Mercury. So all three of these match up in numerology. Where's Mercury at? Mercury's right here in the sign of Pisces, which is where the damn zodiac sun was. It was in the sign of Pisces. And where's Mercury? In the 27th nashatra called Ravadi. And you just go right to here. Here's the original Greek spelling of Uranus 27. That's tied to heaven. 27 is such a big number. Currencies 27, religion, sports, all of them 20, marketing, all 27. Because it's the heavens that runs it all. These are all no-brainers, folks. You can't mistake this stuff. It's just so easy to see when you know the ruler of the zodiac sign it's in. <laughs> and it's in the, I mean, it's just all here. And it was found in, in when the sun was in Pisces, the 12 zodiac sign. It was found on the 13th of March. Here's the uh, birthday of William Herschel. 15 November, 1738. Going to do his life path. Look at what it equals. I mean, need I say more here? Scripted reality. Guy was supposed to find it. 27. <laughs> 27. Here's his birth card. Five of clubs. Five of clubs is the 18th card in the deck, and there's the Christ. So the Christ, the, the kingdom of the Christ is Uranus, Aquarius. That's the father. No one gets to the father except through me. Well, there you go. Christ, Uranus, they're all tied together. It's pretty easy to see, folks. All this stuff right here, so simple to see. So what did, speaking of seeing, what did you see for this Architect of the Universe Part 5? This <clears throat> finalizes this series. I'm done with this series. Five of them. Of course, this is five. And, you know, you know, Uranus is, and I didn't plan it this way, folks. And when I started on Architect of the Universe 1, I didn't know that it was going to lead to five and Uranus being reduction, reduced down to five. No, of course not. It was it was discovered in the fifth nashatra. Come on, folks. This is me being used and as, as an instrument to show you how this reality works. Would love to hear what you saw. <clears throat> Keep your comments coming to finalize this. Appreciate each and every one of you sending you all a ton of love from the Caribbean here in Mexico. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you later.